Hello everyone, welcome back to another Main Street Duo Adventure. Yes, we are here at LAX today. We're heading to Japan for the first time ever. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Super excited. Um, going back to the Main Street Duo thing, that's a whole thing that we need to talk about, um, but at a later time. Yeah. But right now we are LAX. We are gearing up for our yes. Japan travels. It's going to be an 11 hour and 45 minute flight to Narita Airport. Mm -hmm. We cannot wait. I'm actually excited for the flight to just like sit, like play some video games, have some food. It's gonna go by fast. We're taking Singapore Airlines for the first time ever, and I've heard they're a very great airline. So, can't wait for that. We're gonna show you guys the, you know, some of the onboard experience as well. Yeah, we're gonna show our food, all that good stuff. Um, so, Japan, this has been a trip long time coming. Yeah, bucket list. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, we are going in the month of late March, early April. <laughs> we tried to plan it so we would be there during peak cherry blossom season. Mm -hmm. And we planned it perfectly because that is exactly when we're going to be there. Watching the cherry blossom forecast, mm -hmm. it looks good. So, I believe they bloom like a week, they start to bloom a week before, and then peak is a week after, and then the last week, and then it starts to. The, the leaves start to like fall off the trees, um, but we're going to be there during peak cherry blossom season, so we mm -hmm. could not have planned it any more perfectly. It's beautiful. We're starting in Tokyo, staying in Ginza, heading over to Kyoto for a second part of the trip, having a day trip in Osaka, and ending over at Tokyo Disney Resort. Yeah, so, so I believe we're staying there 12 nights total, mm -hmm. so it's... Looking forward to it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. We're going to do a little bit of filming each day, maybe not like a crazy amount, um, but yeah. enough to like show what we're doing each day. And have the memories saved. So, cannot wait. Mm -hmm. This is a dream trip. So, very excited and grateful. Yeah, so actually, let's talk about our name change. So, yeah. we were formerly Disney Do Adventure, um, which well, we absolutely love the name. <laughs> we'll always be that at heart. It's always be part of us. Yeah, so if you see us in the park or something and, you know, go, oh, ah, well, it's Disney Do. Like, we'll we will, respond. yeah, we'll definitely <laughs> respond. Um, but we wanted to, we needed a new name because we wanted to start making merchandise. Eventually, and, and have the option of it. Yeah, and start promoting our channel. And it kind of gets a little sticky if Disney's in the name because it's copyrighted. Mm -hmm. So you can't really sell something that's not Disney licensed yeah. and call it your own. So And plus our adventures are usually like Disney based. Some are not, some are just travel. And we will always be like the main street Joe because we met on Main Street. So it felt very fitting and it still has, you know, a bit of the feeling of our original name. So I like it. Yeah, so it ties into Disney, of course, Main Street USA, but it's not like so in your face. Yeah, because yeah. Main Street is actually everywhere in the world. There's <laughs> Main Streets all over, but we're referring to the original Main Street USA. But yeah, going back to what you said, we met on Main Street. We were working a shift, um, a parade shift, which kind of entails different departments. So I, I work attractions, still do. Mm -hmm. And you work guest relations. Mm -hmm. We were both working at the <laughs> same parade route. And kind of a funny story. I'm not sure if we told this. I'm sure we have a million times. If you know us, I've told you this yeah. story in person. <laughs> <laughs> but I had just gotten back from a trip to Portland, Oregon. And if you know Disney name tags, they show your city where you're from. And Courtney is from Portland. Yeah. So her named tag said, you know, Courtney, Portland, Oregon. And I was like, oh, I made a comment. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I just gotten back from Portland. So I was like, oh, Portland, I just came back from there. I was like, oh, that's cool. I grew up there for the first 17 years of my life. <laughs> and we kind of just like chuckled and smiled. And I and think that's, that's all we said always to each it. other. That was yeah. it. But I kind of like, we kept seeing each other in the parks. Like I'd be working in the guest info kiosks and like he'd walk by, you know, on his way to a shift. And we just couldn't give like a little wave because, you know, we recognized each other. And yeah, that's how it all started almost eight years ago, which blows my mind. Mm -hmm. It feels like it was like a year or two ago, but yeah, pretty yeah. magical. Main Street beginnings. We worked a lot of other parade shifts together on Main Street, yeah. so it's very near and dear to our hearts. And we just love Main Street in general. I believe one of those shifts that we were talking about where we had a Main Street shift together. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> we had, Courtney was showing me around Main Street, showing me all the fun little Easter eggs, and that's where she showed me the red and white light bulb that's uh -huh. right there by yeah, our main street refreshment corner, yeah, refreshment corner, corner. the special light bulb so so we love main street we love the dapper dans they're usually hanging around main street yes. um the vehicles it's just it's a magical place so mm -hmm. that ties there. us into <laughs> why we changed it to main street do mm -hmm. for a plethora of reasons mm -hmm. but it feels very fitting and i'm very happy with the change so yeah so that's am I. Us now. <laughs> <laughs> so i am again so excited for this trip mm -hmm. it's gonna be a long flight We've been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of videos, including Ordinary Adventures. Mm -hmm. They're giving us some great info. So thank you, Peter and Kitra. We are excited to like finally be in there and trying the food and doing the shopping and seeing the sights. And mm -hmm. I cannot believe it's here. Everyone's going to Japan too, actually. It's kind of crazy. Um, 
paging Mr. Maro's Day right now, so I just yeah. feel like everyone's going to Japan, not only because it's like the busiest time of the year, but the Japan yen is kind of on the weaker side, so the US dollar goes a lot further, mm -hmm. and so everyone's just kind of going right now. But um, we went to the currency exchange like store to yeah. try to get our currency exchange, and there were signs as soon as we walked <laughs> in, it says we are all out of Japan yen. And we're like, what the heck? And she, the person was like, yeah, everyone's going to Japan right now. So it's, crazy. it's gonna be crowded, but we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna try to wake up early to do all the fun things before the crowds are there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really excited. Yes, I am too. Ooh. So we brought our little Nintendo Switch for the trip. We actually bought the new like Peach game. I don't know yes, what it's called. it's called <laughs> Princess Peach Showtime. <laughs> that was my 10 year with Disney anniversary gift Donnie got me. So we're gonna play that game together. It's one player, yeah. we're gonna take turns. And I feel like the flight's gonna like fly by because we've got video game, probably some movies going, mm -hmm. food, my favorite thing. Yeah, we get, <laughs> we get two two meals. We get a mm -hmm. dinner and a lunch. A dinner and a lunch. Yeah. So I, we're gonna show the options that we're given. I opted for a vegetarian meal because I didn't want to like be stuck with beef or pork because I don't eat red meat. Um, so we will see what those special options are for us. <laughs> yeah, and I think you had already mentioned it, but we fly into Narita, so we're gonna show the process of getting there and then going from there to our hotel yes, in Ginza. Yeah, so if you know, Narita is the further away hotel. It Airport. was a little, sorry, yeah, <laughs> airport, but it's the it was the cheaper of the two. So that's why we chose it, but now we're going to have to take a train ride back into the city because it's kind of further away. Yeah. So we're going to show that process and then we're going to show our room. We're going to check in, do a, a room tour. A very cool hotel. Yeah. I don't want to say it's on the bougier side, but I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. No, told no spoilers. It was on the bougie side. So like, <laughs> I guess it is, but it was affordable when we bought it. So it's all very good. Yeah. So we're going to show that entire process and it's kind of crazy to think that's all gonna be on this clip and we're here in LAX right now LA, and we're here here <laughs> in LAX right now and then we're gonna show a room tour in Japan all in the same in a day basically. in a day yeah, yeah exactly we lose a day getting there <laughs> so we're gonna land Thursday at like 5 30 p.m. we're so time traveling we are <laughs> time traveling to and the, the future. flight back home to LA is actually shorter because of all the winds and mm -hmm. all that so it's and it makes cool. sense because Japan is living in the future. So. They are. It, it, <laughs> Both it literally makes sense. and with all their technology. <laughs> like I'm so excited to see like all the vending machines, the robots, and all this crazy, oh. crazy stuff they have over there. Be awesome. So yeah, we're gonna grab a snack. And yeah, then... some Starbucks. We're two hours early for our flight. So. Yeah, we boarding before we know it. Okay, we made it. We made it aboard. Oh my gosh, the business class seats were like twice the size of these. Amazing. Yeah. It's like two by two seats, gorgeous. If you're in the hotel room, basically. Mm -hmm. um, we are in economy, which Way is back. totally fine. <laughs> we're saving money so we can do more on the trip. Buy all really the souvenirs. Gone. Exactly, all the souvenirs. We got a piece of blanket. And the pillow, which will be nice to put yeah. behind your back or neck mm -hmm. during the flight. And we have these really cool screens to show you in a second. And it kind of has like a little touchpad and everything to go with the screen. But Give me your so far, I like it. Yeah. Fingers crossed, there's no one next to us. Yeah. As of yesterday, no one had the seat next to us. So. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Also, for a safe flight as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that goes without saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully, no turbulence, stuff like that. I didn't realize, but we were talking about it before we boarded and this is my longest flight I've ever taken so by about an hour yeah, yeah so the longest flight before this was at Heathrow which is London that's ten and a half hours I thought this was also ten and a half hours I must have been confused but this is almost 12 hours so I think this is yeah I think Heathrow was my longest flight as well but yeah it'll be an adventure mm -hmm. it'll be a good time I'm a bit of a nervous flyer too. Like the takeoff is what kind of scares me. After that, we'll be chilling. But. Yeah. I'm not one who could actually sleep on airplanes, so it, it, it's just a, like a comfort thing. I need to be laying down in order to sleep, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll surprise myself and get a little bit of shut eye, but. <laughs> Just take a bunch of night cool. No, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have you like knock me over the head with okay. like a crowbar or something. We'll see. Air <laughs> just getting good. <laughs> Here's a close look at the screens. I suppose a reading light button. And it's really cool because the screen comes out. So you have a nice like little like light on you if you want to read a book or something. Do some work. Nice. And then this is kind of fun. It pops out. Ready? <laughs> and it's kind of a control, like a remote. It's like a PSP. It literally looks like a PSP. That was my first thought. It even has the X, Y, A, B buttons. <laughs> Are you playing more video games, I guess, maybe, on this flight? <laughs> we shall see. Look, the time says only 10 hours, 43 minutes. 
Mm. Mm. Do we ship an hour off? What time is it right now? So it's 122. We take off our at time. 145. Yeah, our time. And, and Tokyo time. It's 521 AM. Yeah. Good so morning. No one has sat in next to us quite yet. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I did want to point out this though. Usually there's like little air vents above us. I think their lights are directly above us, but I'm not seeing any air conditioning that kind of blows air at each individual seat. Um, but Interesting. I believe you said it's like way up there. I'm just seeing like vents. Like yeah. I can hear the air. That kind of just do the whole cabin at once yeah. as opposed to each seat. So at least your seatmate can't like blast the air next to you. It's like kind of loud. So I guess it's like a yeah. pros and cons. I, I prefer individual. I know you're, you're yeah. a toasty guy. He, <laughs> he runs warm. <laughs> the flight attendant just came by and verified I was Courtney because I selected the vegetarian meal. So she put a sticker above my headrest so they know that I have the train option for dinner tonight, which is pretty cool. It's really easy to do on their website as long as you do it before 24 hours before your flight. You're good to go. So within one to two days, you have to submit your preferences online. They have allergy meals, religious restriction meals, and yeah, any kind of like vegan, vegetarian lifestyle. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's only 124, so she kind of checked up on that real soon. Yeah, great service so far. Yeah. And now we want to shop some of the movies that they have. What, what, yeah. what do we got here? Okay. I'm see. already seeing the Wonka Ooh, movie. I, I'm like a nerd for all of this, like seeing the flight path and all that. We'll be checking that later. Let's see the movies though. Got Wonka. Oh, browse Titanic. All, browse all. Oh, but TV. <laughs> browse all. Oh, oh, Killer of the Flower Moon. That will make some hours yeah, go by. Yeah, that one won some awards. We're gonna, we're gonna get a towel. We're gonna get a towel. Oh, it's warm. Burning. It's not warm. It's, it's hot. Freaking like fire. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this smells like first class. <laughs> We did it. We're in Japan. Oh my gosh. A guy walking out literally goes, oh my god, I'm in Japan. And that yeah. just sums up our feelings exactly. Yeah. Um, we actually got in about 40 minutes early, so that was a really nice surprise. Mm -hmm. Now, customs immigration took a, a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and by uh, a minute, I mean an, an hour. hour. Yeah, over an hour. A full um, hour. But it's super nice here. We used the restroom already, and the like <laughs> stall, if you will, was massive. Oh yeah, massive, it was luxurious. Mm -hmm. The bidet, of course, everything. I didn't. I wasn't adventurous enough to try the full features yet, but eventually I will during our trip. Yeah, and before we even get to immigration, they actually have like a wall that has like Nintendo characters yeah. on it: Mario, Peach, Bowser. I had to stop and get a picture. I was yeah, super and excited. it says uh, "Welcome to Japan," so yeah. that was like a nice little welcome. We, it's almost like 2 a.m. our time right now at home, but I'm just like living on excitement right now. We're gonna stay up, I think, until like 9 o'clock yeah. time here local, so we'll be basically on the, the correct time, which will yeah. be nice. So I don't think I, I actually, I didn't sleep at all on the plane, so I think I that's kind of the way to do it, because then you just power through and then you get used to the, the yeah. time at wherever you're at. Well, so. it wasn't too bad, I didn't feel like that much of a long haul. We watched movies and shows. Yeah. Just relax. It was a good time. But yeah, now we're here. We're gonna take the train yeah. to, to get to like the more like the Tokyo area in our hotel in Ginza tonight. So yeah. let's go figure out that train. <laughs> okay, we made it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the signs the that train. say train, yeah. It's pretty easy, yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff is in English. Now the true test begins. We have to figure out the train to our hotel in Ginza. I think I know how to do it, but we're going to use Google Maps But what we learned to the test, yes, yeah, so yeah. we've seen Google Maps. So, go directions here, and then we're going to do it via train. And yep, yeah, I was right, it's the KC Science um, Skyliner there. And then we're going to transfer to that line, and it's going to be about an hour and 11 minutes. And it's going to cost, what, 2745 Per person, yeah. Mm. So, I guess let's get some Skyliner tickets and get started. <laughs> Okay, we just made it to the Muji Hotel. We're on the first floor. I believe the hotel itself, let's see, is on the sixth floor is the reception. Mm -hmm. It shares some floors with the department store version of Muji. It is stores, it's restaurants, and it's a hotel all in one building. So we'll be exploring that more as we're here, but we could not be happier to see this hotel. 
it has been a journey getting mm -hmm. here. We woke up at what, 8 a.m. today, California time? <laughs> I think we're at almost 24 hours now. Almost 24 hours a week, yeah. so it's, it's been a day. <laughs> and I don't want to say we got lost on the train, but we definitely took a different train than we intended. It, yes. It ended up working, but... The KC there was, was the correct kind of train. It ended up adding like 20 more stops than we needed. So what should have been maybe like a 30 minute train ride it ended up being like almost a two hour train ride. And then we weren't sure if it was even going to end up where we'd end up, but it mm -hmm. helped it. We didn't even have to transfer, so that was good. We have made it to our room. We just threw our bags in, but did not look at the room. So we're going to do a room tour for the very first time. I want to mention how cool these key cards are. They are wood. They feel like wood. They are wood and whatever it has like the actual like card reading material in there somewhere but it even has a map of the Muji Hotel like where it is in Ginza very cool it kind of gives the whole wood aesthetic of the hotel so let's dive on in in room 814 and it is the C like room C is mm -hmm. the model there's like A, B, C, D, E, and F I think nice hardware we're in Wood everywhere. <laughs> I think we liked the B and the C layouts, or the C and the D. I forget which ones, but we like C the most. C the most because we like the bed at the far end, as you'll it's see. So cool! It kind of reminds me of like the traditional Japanese futon bed, like on the ground almost, but still kind of Western. We have part of the bathroom right outside here. We have a sink. We have like little cups, some outlets, mirror. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Dusty and crusty from a long day of travel, <laughs> but happy to be here nonetheless. Mm -hmm. We also have looks like some water bottles, natural mineral water. So yeah, Muji, like we you know, we're gonna obviously mention. We'll, we'll get into the details later. What Muji? Yeah, because it's a whole like I I, I call it IKEA, I like a Japan IKEA. I think that's the best way to describe it, <laughs> IKEA. So let's keep going here. Let's check out the bed first. This is so cool. Oh, Whoa, ooh, it's yeah, it's like on the ground. <laughs> oh, this is where I stay now. It feels good. It's like it's slightly firm, which I know is more popular for the Asian countries, but still like has a soft feel a little bit with the, the comforter. Yeah, I prefer a more firm mattress myself. Yeah. Has some controls up here. Looks like we have light on and off. Here, I'll, I'll get into it. Oh, oh, wow. oh, 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 that's the whole room. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, that's the whole room. We have a night light on and off. That also looks like oh, the whole room. So it's right up there. Oh, uh, there's a little bit of uplighting. It's just that light. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, and then we have bed lamp. And it also lights underneath as well. Oh, there's cool. a slight little step up right here. So, so that's safer for nighttime. And there's a little adjustable bed lamp for each side. Hmm. And the outlet, and it looks like a US. USB outlet too. We have some nice seating here. It's actually quite comfortable. I can imagine us kind of having like a little com combini meal over here. That's what we're about to do right now. <laughs> Very soon. And I've seen this before online. They have a whole line of snacks and they actually include some for you with your stay. We have cheese cream filled biscuit sticks. That looks good. And some yogurt flavored chocolate gummies. Mm. Oh my gosh. Those sound awesome. And I'm sure you could buy these in the store if you really like them. Oh, you yeah. bring some home. Yeah, definitely. It has a nice little TV, easy to watch right here. It's like, I think maybe it's a Bluetooth speaker. Or oh, the router, something. maybe? Or They gave us a, a Wi Fi password. <laughs> so. Got some actual real books up here, too. Um, the remote was all in Japanese. <laughs> That's funny. That's... Is that Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> That's universal. Let's check out some of the amenities that are included with the stay. So, toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, cotton pad, bud set, toning water set, face wash set, slippers, razor, body wash sponge, bottled water, tea, snacks, pen, and notepad. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we also got these diffuser scents from the front, and they are essential oil grapefruit and essential oil Japanese cypress. Those sound very lovely to find the diffuser for those. Make our stay even more inviting. Is it right here or is that a, tea a teapot? Oh no, oh. I think that's a teapot. I think one of them maybe is a diffuser. The bottom one kind of looks like. Yeah, 
light and mist. So this, hey, this must be a diffuser. We, we should turn it on. Let's see. Ooh, some cups. Ooh. Some green tea for you. Yum. Me. I'm going to be living my best green tea life while we're out here. What's in there? Is that a fridge? Oh, yeah, a little mini fridge. This oh, what's, what's in here? What's in here? Caffeine free black soybeans tea, and there's two of them. Hmm. Totally free cans. Nice. I like when a hotel includes beverages. That's really rare nowadays. I think I saw some of the free stuff. Yeah, this was out here, here just like this. A notebook. Hmm. Oh, I kind of wanted to get the stamps. They give the stamps to some of the temples and the um, the train stations. Mm -hmm. Take this, get the stamps, and then there is a Muji pen made in Japan. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we get souvenirs with our stay. Easy as that. This light looks really cool. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. It's like the it's picture cool. light. It is. <laughs> That's a really nice workplace light. Cool. Looks like there's an iPad. Yes. So the iPad here looks like it has our time. We click it. Oh, we can adjust the lighting, how bright or dim it is. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you have a habit of doing light. that, don't you? I do. The air conditioning. Oh, the blackout curtain. Let's see if we have a view. Let's go for open. I've never oh. seen the curtains open here. Oh. Fancy. Oh, there goes the clock. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> cool. Um, I can, um, I'll move the... I guess you really can turn back time. Yeah. Let's check the view. And this part looks like it's just on a like a physical track, so you can just move that yourself. I think the window even opens too. I think I see that too. There's a handle right there on the left side. Get some fresh air. No way. Is there like another window out there? Yeah, so it is like double pane, so I guess it's gonna keep it more quiet mm -hmm. i can feel a temperature difference though i think it'd be better if we turn off all the lights in our room oh. i can let's, do that let's do that i can do that oh, room yeah. off this is a really cool like oh, yeah. round um building right here no glaring i can see the you can zoom in oh yeah i can see some like cool seating up there Very this nice. is cool i like yeah. that we actually feel like it's i don't feel claustrophobic at all Right by the sink, Courtney, you want to do the honors? Open that drawer. Yes, I didn't really realize there was more amenities out here. Oh my gosh. Hey you. Okay, let's see. What haul do we have? <gasps> Little toothpaste. Oh my gosh. These are great. Oh, I love it. And the cotton pads and Q-tips. Okay. Ooh, bamboo hair comb. Ooh. Bamboo, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I like that. Looks like we have some clear toothbrushes too. Mm -hmm. I like the whole, like the Muji aesthetic is like very clean, kind of natural, like timeless. That's okay, cool. we also have the light toning water and moisturizing milk. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have a little spa dip in here. And also oil cleansing and face soap. Cool. And then what's in here? Yeah, curious about that. Oh, it's probably um, a mirror. Please return, Please the, return mirror. the mirror. Okay. mirror That's is not, not for, color. I mean, help with I wish it was though. That's doing nice. your makeup or <laughs> Shaving, very nice. Very cool. And then there's like, an extra light for the bathroom sink area. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the closet. Oh, automatic light. Oh, we have jammies. <laughs> jammies. Oh, they're soft. This is cool. We don't do this in the States. We don't give you pajamas <laughs> to stay in. Catch me in jammies tonight. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it looks like my size. It says medium to large. Feels very lightweight, very nice. And then we got some pants. These are not your Those size. Are not my size. <laughs> They're Those very are, my size. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool though. I feel like you can really get into like the, you know, relaxed hotel life if you have <laughs> the jammies and the snacks and everything you need. We also have some laundry bags. A little shopping bag here. They do dry, offer dry cleaning, a safe. Let's see how big the safe is. Not big enough for a laptop. Maybe an iPad would fit. Hmm. And then we have a really cool flashlight. Look at this flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Ikea. <laughs> and then we, oh, here we go, more amenities. 
We have our slippers. Slippers. Oh, they're so, the bottom's even soft. And... Cool. Very nice. We're gonna be living the high life <laughs> next the next three days here. Cool. And empty. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, All right, I think the only thing that's left is the uh, the bathroom. Yes, the, I guess they call it the toilet room. <laughs> <laughs> the shower. Okay, bathroom. Oh, lights oh, are right whoa. here. Whoa. Oh, there's a little step here. Okay, watch your step. This is nice. So there is actually one more sink in here. Oh, yeah. I appreciate small one. The two outlets, too. Mm-hmm. Cool. Which our outlets will work here. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. doesn't have the third prong. Yeah. You can use the usual US. And I hear all the rave about Japanese <laughs> toilets. So. I know the Toto brand is very popular too. And here we have all the settings. We got the front bidet. We got the, the rear bidet. Make it a stop. The emergency it's off emergency, button. So that's what you're going to be pressing. <laughs> and then it was just, there's like too many options. This is what scares me. I'm like, what is oh, one? Oh, got a deodorizer. Whoa. Mm. Uh, sometimes they play music too. Yes, the ones at the um the airport I saw had it said like privacy noise or something, so it kinda of covers up the noise, but cool. The cutest little shower loofah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like for an American girl doll. It's so little. I love it. Towels. A little bin down there. And then body soap. Conditioner and shampoo in the shower. Oh, Ooh, oh, rainfall. Nice. And there is one of the um, handheld too. Mm -hmm. Nice kind of stone. Yeah, yeah it feels nice. It looks like a spa or something. Everything looks very clean and well taken care of. I like this a lot. We also got breakfast included with our stay. Mm -hmm. We opted into that because it's a really good good price to add on. So. I'm not going to want to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this entire trip, we want to be completely transparent with all the prices that we pay for all of our hotels, trains, food, everything we can, we will provide a price. So I think you mentioned earlier that this is a type C room. It's one of like the longer ones with the beds on the far end from where you walk in. So this is a standard dull room, type C, no smoking. That goes for you, Courtney, because I know you're a chain smoker. Yeah. Um, but Don't so breakfast it. is included. So we paid for this hotel for three nights, a hundred and twenty-five thousand yen, which comes out to and I'm rounding, eight hundred twenty-six dollars and forty-four cents. So divided by three, and then divided by three, three breakfasts. Well, actually six because there's two of us times three. Uh, yeah. Three. Yeah. Three yeah, days but... times two people, six. Six mm -hmm. meals, basically. Yeah. So, obviously, there is a lot more cheaper options than this, but we wanted to splurge just a little bit. We heard really good things about this hotel. Um, so, we wanted to do not the cheapest, but also not the most expensive. Mm -hmm. But one of the main things that you look for when choosing a hotel is how close it is to a train station. So that was a big major deciding factor for choosing this hotel. Yes, you can get cheaper, but location is a top priority. It was less than a five minute walk from the train station. So it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm really excited to spend the next three days here. We've made it inside and I've already found my must have item, the fruit sando. <laughs> they only have the strawberry and cream right now, but that's totally fine, it sounds delicious. I wanted to point out that in Japan, they have this really cool thing where they have red here for the hot drinks and um, blue for the cold. You can actually feel the difference. You get a hot bottle drink. That's so cool. And then the cold things in the bottom. I have heard this is one of the treats to get at 7-Eleven. It is a cream puff. Simple yet delicious. So I have to get it. It's a top selling item, like top selling sweet. So it's going the best. We were looking for it and it is in the refrigerator section. Yeah. We we're looking like in the warm, not warm, but room temperature section. There's a lot of refrigerated sweets over here. Check out some of these cute character cakes. I can't, I can't even handle how cute. It's so much fun. <laughs> Baby Claire's too, some jellies. Oh, look at these. Macarons. It's a strawberry cream waffle. Mm. That sounds good too, wow. And we are also gonna get 
what they are known for here at 7-Eleven is their fruit smoothies. Yeah, they have these machines that will like make it into a smoothie for you. So you can pick up banana, strawberry banana, blueberry banana, cherry banana, blueberry banana. Ooh, they have the mango with pineapple. That one's really nice too. Smoothie time. Smoothie time. Smoothie. <laughs> Suck it in. Okay, once seal is removed, press button. Oh, it knows the flavor. I love that. It took it, it took it. Oh! Pouring some water or juice in there. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's water. Oh, the light turned the light on. Mm -hmm. There you go. That looks good. Let me see in there. Nice. Okay, we just finished our tasty food haul from 7-Eleven. Everything was absolutely delicious. I loved the milk bread they use on the egg salad sandwich and the strawberry sandwich. Those were just amazing. I think they were both chef's kiss. I yeah, I thought the egg salad was like a four and a half out of five, but yeah, the, the strawberry sando was delicious. It has whipped cream and custard. Mm -hmm. We definitely have to go back and get more of the sandwiches from Seven Eleven before we leave Japan. But yes. But if we're talking just strictly the bread, yeah, I would give it a, both chef's kiss. Yeah. So good. So oh, everything was so fresh. We, we gotta figure out how to do that in the in the States. <laughs> <laughs> the cream puff was really good as well and the smoothie, yes. Seven eleven. Do not miss it when you're here. Mm -mm. So we have so much to look forward to. Tomorrow we got a busy day. Um, we got a we're going to Shinjuku, Shibuya, Harajuku. We're doing a lot tomorrow. All over, yeah. So we have a lot of cute things mm -hmm. which I've been very excited for coming up tomorrow, and just some really good classic like Tokyo City things as well. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. We are supposed to do it should be a sky, and I don't think they do it in the rain, but you can still go up to the top, just mm -hmm. not outside. Yeah, it's an observation area, mm -hmm. so time will tell. Unless we'll have a good time. <laughs> Other than that, the weather is supposed to look pretty nice out here. So Yeah, for the, whole, for the most time we're here. Yeah, so. I'm pretty excited. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow us along on our Japan vlog. We have 11 more days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. It's going to be a big adventure. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. We'll, we'll see, see you real soon. soon.